The government has released details expanding on the concept of a nation of opportunity, which was first outlined by President Tony Tan Keng Yam in his address to Parliament last Friday. The government says the country must remain a place where every Singaporean can succeed, whatever his starting point. Now, with globalization bringing about keener competition, the government says Singaporeans have to work harder, but noted that the nation is well positioned to capitalize on Asia's rise. And to help Singaporeans remain competitive, there will be greater focus on education and training initiatives. There will also be improvements to economic infrastructure. Well, the Ministry of Trade and Industry is the first to release its policy plans in response to the President's address. With the majority of new job seekers looking for professional, managerial, executive and technicians, or PMET jobs, the challenge for the government is to make sure there's enough of such work. But it also needs to cater to non-PMETs, says Second Minister for Trade and Industry, S. Iswaran. These men are part of the first batch of precision engineering master craftsman graduates. They received their certificates from Nanyang Polytechnic after juggling work and studies for two years. For 41-year-old senior engineer Lim Hing Chin, the sacrifice has been worth it. He said his pay increased by about 20% since he took up the course. You can say that pay is good and uh, you really get to be exposed to more of these uh, new technologies. Now, industry players say engineering has traditionally been a sector shunned by Singaporeans. So what you see here today are part of efforts to improve its image and professionalise the sector so that there's better career progression and, of course, better pay. Graduates of the programme who go on to get a Master Craftsman Certificate can look forward to a starting pay of at least $3,500 a month. The second trade and industry minister toured the Polytechnic's Precision Engineering Lab on Monday morning. He said the centre is a good connection point between the industry and an educational institution. Moving forward, there will be more of such opportunities as Singapore reviews its continuing education and training or CET landscape. A CET framework must be something that prepares our people and gives them continuing uh, ways to meet in, be industry relevant. That's a key part of it. So the industry input is important. And then we need to be able to create uh, modular causes that are able to fit into the schedules of those who are already working, but at the same time give them the desired skills and the certification. So it doesn't become an intimidating one big uh, one big long course, but you can do this progressively as well. And in the process, you require certification. Observers said as the economy continues to restructure, CET becomes even more relevant. To date, we've actually often considered it to be the icing on the cake. When you go for CET, presumably you are in line for uh, some uh, bonus payout or even some promotion. I think uh, in going forward, especially in a time of restructuring like what we're undergoing, it's not going to be the icing on the cake anymore. It's actually going to be a necessity for uh, PMEs to be, remain viable in the job market. Some 40 to 45,000 young Singaporeans are expected to enter the job market each year over the next three years. The ministry said two-thirds aspire to hold professional, managerial, executive and technician or PMET jobs. Mr Iswaran said the challenge is to make sure there's enough of such jobs as well as non-PMET jobs to cater to the different segments of the workforce.